most definitely one of my favorite places in the world. Besides the fact that it has amazing shopping, people are quite friendly. One of the main reasons why I keep coming back at least once every year is because Hong Kong, in my opinion, has one of the best food scene in the world. And for today's episode, we are going to be trying the top Hong Kong street food that you absolutely have to try. And before we start, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and stay till the end because we are going to be trying one of Hong Kong's most divisive foods. Some people love them, some people hate it. There's no in between. Make sure you stay till the end. Let's go. Okay, so I've just arrived at Hop Yik Chung Fun. So this is one of the best steamed rice paper here in Hong Kong. It's it's a quite a simple dish. Literally, it is just steamed rice flour rolled together with peanut butter, sweet sauce, soy sauce, and then sesame seeds, and that's pretty much it. Look at this. This is exactly what it looks like. Absolutely slathered in sauce. It is amazing. Absolutely love it. As you can tell by that massive line over there, I'll show you in a bit how long that line is. I waited for about 15 minutes for this, and every minute absolutely was worth it. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a wrap. This is the last trend fun that I had. myself a cake pudding which is one of the most nostalgic Hong Kong snack this is exactly what it looks like it's got so it's steamed in like a bowl and then it's got like red beans um, in in the pudding itself it feels quite dense it's like a gelatin type substance and this amazing little dessert costed nine Hong Kong dollars but um let's Let's give it, let's give this a try. Man, this brings back so many childhood memories. It's not too sweet. It, it definitely tastes a little bit like brown sugar. It's a jelly type substance and you can really taste the red beans in there, which doesn't add to the sweetness at all but it adds a really good texture to this little dessert. It is delicious. And I'm so happy right now because this reminds me of childhood. You can't beat a good food cycle. Okay, this is the egg tart that I've just bought. The special thing about this egg tart is it's got 368 layers. It was, it's $10, $10 Hong Kong, which I think is a bit more expensive than all the other ones, but let's try. This is the one that I like because it's like flaky crust instead of the uh, baked crust. The crust is so flaky. Like you can definitely tell there is over 300 layers in that crust. Surprisingly, it hasn't crumbled all over my plate. The, the actual egg is so smooth and it is very, very creamy. Please make sure you get an egg tart whenever you come to Hong Kong. It is like a, a must get snack. So, shumai is essentially fish meat that's been like hit so many many times that's why it's so elastic -y and then wrapped in a one ton wrapper this is different to the yum cha ones this is fish the yum cha ones like pork it's very chewy i can definitely taste the fish there it's just typical street silma i love it next up next thing that you definitely have to try when you're in hong kong is the curry fish ball so this is essentially a fish ball dipped in curry sauce. The flavor of the curry is like overwhelming. It just covers every other taste. 
and that's what you're here for. Like when you have a curry fish bowl, you're really there for the curry. And Silmais and curry fish bowls are like the main characters of the street food scene in Hong Kong. If you come to Hong Kong and you want street food, make sure you get Silmais and fish bowls. This is the food that I'm so extremely excited about. This is called Gai Dan Sai, which is called egg egglets in English. Essentially, it's like a it's like a Western waffle, but with more egg yolk and a bit sweeter as well. How you can tell it's a good Gai Dan Sai is if it's crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. This is what it looks like. Okay, let's break. Did you hear that crunch? This is a really good one. I love it so much. It is delicious. People add like different sauces to it, but for me, I just like it original. It is impossible to get good gaudanza in Australia, and if you and if you ever find one, it's like ten times the normal price. So whenever I come to Hong Kong, this is something that I absolutely have to get and that's something that you have to get to. We are about to try the legendary stinky tofu. The smell is actually very very prominent. I can kind of smell it now. Before when we were like a few steps back I couldn't but it smells a bit like I don't know how to else to explain it. It smells like feet. Okay. Okay, so we have got the stinky tofu. Um, I think it stinks <laughs> and I can't believe I'm about to eat. I've never had sticky tofu before because for that exact reason. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's it's fried on the outside and I think that it is um, it is soft on the inside. The smell actually isn't that bad close up, but let's let's try what it tastes like. Is what it looks like so like eating it isn't actually that isn't actually that bad but it, there's like a weird aftertaste to it I actually don't think it's that bad the smell is not great but the actual taste it doesn't taste like what it smells I like how it's really crunchy on the outside and then inside it's quite soft but then there is a weird aftertaste. I don't know how to feel about it. I think, um, I mean, I, you should definitely try for yourself and then let me know how much you like it on a scale of 10. Smells not great, tastes neutral. That is my final conclusion. As I was walking away, I found someone else who felt more strongly against the smell of tinky tofu. Look at the ground. I promise that wasn't me, that was someone else. Mine's still here. <laughs> and that is it for today. These are the must-have street food whenever you visit Hong Kong. I'll put a link in my description of all the places that I have visited. Thank you so much for sticking till the end. I post new videos every Friday, so be sure to check them out if you have time. I hope you have an awesome rest of the day and I will see you next Friday. Bye. Thank you.